and you are now watching the Nino channel. We need just um, just a little bit more energy, Nina. Okay. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> Welcome back people to my channel and I haven't hit y'all with a tutorial in a long time. This is actually a really old look I did a long time ago. I just never got to putting out the video. So hopefully you sit back, enjoy and learn. Let's get to it. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back piggies. Y'all smell like pigs. That is Meron's activated water paint. I think that's the color turquoise and night gray. And so basically, Sprayed with water, activated, and I think Sally's color is like a dull blue, almost grayish kind of color. So kind of mixing it together and just putting it all over a even surface. Not service, surface, girl. And I am creating the illusion of the smaller body. You know, she has a small, little skinny neck and then just going to color that in. Now we're going to take a little bit of clown white um, and just start to highlight. I like to, I like to use that when I'm doing these colorful characters because it's the only color that makes sense is white <laughs> to kind of highlight it. Um, and so yeah, just kind of putting it in the same areas you would or just look at a picture reference of like where the light is hitting her face. But normally it's the same areas, you know, your T-zone area and the cheeks and the forehead, the nose. So just do that and then um, proceed to blend it out. Now we're gonna to move towards the literal artwork and contouring and starting to draw the shape of her nose, her face. And I'm just using a darker blue paint from the Meron palette. Um, or if you have like dark blue cream or, girl, I don't even know if any of y'all will actually ever even do this look. <laughs> Let's be real. But if you are, you know, you can use a blue cream or whatever and just a uh, like nice little fine, little tune brush to like really get some good details in there.
Now some Aeron black paint and we're gonna, you know, the lines that we just drew, you wanna fill them in. And I'm doing this to create a smaller face, a more smaller kind of rounder, little pointy chin face. So it works well in photos and um, depending how your lighting is. Now we're going to follow her nose and shape the nostrils. Very Michael Jackson tease. Very, I smell cow manure. My nose got stuck that way. Very James Evans from Good Times tease. Yeah. And because she has smaller lips than mine, you know, I like to try to be as close as I can to the character. So if that means getting rid of my black luscious lips and getting Caucasian thin cracker lips. Um, I'm going to do that, <laughs> JK. But no, she does have smaller lips, so I'm going to like try to create that. And now we are going to just start creating the more so the eye shape. You know, she has a bigger eyelid, bigger eye space. Um, Tim Burton loves doing that. Just cartoons in general, they always have big, gigantic eyes. Speaking of, I have in right now, if you can tell, these big black kind of contacts, the sclera, but not the really big ones that cover the whole white of the eye, but just big enough to make my eyes look like bugaboo tees, like, you know, bugaboo. I don't get it, but buy it. Now I'm using, I think, Meron, just um, their translucent um, powder. You wanna always powder your face, I always do, no matter what look I'm doing, I powder it, and just lock all the makeup in place. And what I'm doing here is just getting some blue eyeshadow and just starting to like buff out those lines that we created for the illusion, make it look more soft, and um, yeah. And then you want to get up here, show a little butt crack illusion. Look at Judge Judy cursing out the black man. Hey, Judge, I'm trying. Baloney and ham. But I'm trying to be a better man. Oh, he lying. He lying. Look, you got to get up. You got to do things right in your life. And going to take some more darker blue eyeshadow and just go back and start creating more depth into the shadows. Make it look more 3D and pop out more. And of course, take a little bit of white and make the eyes look bigger. Like once again, the big cartoon eyes. And then some black to outline it. It's always repetitive, but you wanna make things look sharp and more clean and real, so yeah. Now I'm taking some eyeshadow, god damn that's dirty. And just, you know, whatever color you wanna create, I'm trying to create a close enough color to what I think she has. I think it's like a silver or something. And then just going back with some darker shadows and just making the eyes appear more hollow and 
more deep and like I haven't got no sleep in weeks, which is kind of true though. And just in the inner lip, a little bit of black shadow to give you that little pouty like, I boo-booed myself, but you can't smell it. <laughs> now I'm putting on my 301 eyelashes. Somehow I forgot to record when I did the black lines on my face where the stitches will go. I apologize for that. But at the same time, if anybody here surprised, when have I ever been professional? Exactly. Now taking the white paint and creating the stitches. Just look at a picture for reference. You know, it's like a little X's and a little line here and there. And um, yeah, so go for it. Somehow I also forgot to record me starting to paint and draw the body. Oh my God. But anyway, <laughs> make sure you draw the body smaller because you're creating a smaller illusion of a body. And I'm using yellow and pinks um, from the Miron Water Activated Paradise Paints. And yeah, just use you a brush, a sponge. Oh my guys, how did I forget to record these parts? I can't. Now we're gonna take some black and just go around that to make the body look small, the neck look longer. All about creating illusions. Like you may live your life as a delusion, but you wanna create illusions. Damn, I'm deep. Now I'm just taking the finer little brush and like using some of that same black, some shadows and just 
going in to make the sleeve look a little more tattered, a little more weathered, like James's wigs. Um, and just, you know, just go for it. Girl, you are a badass bitch. Girl, y'all look like Holly Berry. Can't nobody ever come from an artist like y'all. Yeah, this is really all about detailing. Just make sure you detail as much as you can. And um, the closer it will look to the actual character, you know, when you do that. Unless you just can afford to buy the costume, then girl, you ain't got to waste your time doing all this, girl. Girl. Now just coming back to the face and creating more detailing, the lines around the smile line. Just look at her face and think about, even though her face is a flat surface, but you gotta also just use your imagination and be like, hmm, if she was kind of human, where would the lines go to create more of a realistic illusion? That's what I'm doing right now. taking some white like um, highlight powder and just highlighting in between those areas and on the cheeks and just the same areas just to make it look more like, more real it's I'm, I'm all about creating like real like illusions even within these cartoon characters Girl, I'm now taking some fancy highlight. I said fancy, girl. I was on Drag Race, girl. I can afford that. So what? My rent's not paid. Girl. And taking some more highlight um, from Anastasia palette and just, just I'm, I'm just doing a little more de detailing, but the look is basically done. You wanna throw in your wig and come back and let me see how you look, girl. I'm sure you look great. And thank you guys for coming back to watch another one of my videos. I haven't done a tutorial in a while. This video is really old though, but wanted to go ahead and finally put it out there and hopefully y'all appreciate it and see you next time. Stay beat, stay blessed, stay beautiful.